Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Product Manager at Condi Systems Incorporated, welcoming you to our next video on our series on the RICO RI100 Direct-to-Garment System. In this video, we're going to give you a brief demonstration on the RICO design software that is supplied with the RICO RI100 system. So let me open it up on my computer and we'll get started. Now that we're in my computer, let's demonstrate the RICO design software. And as it says right here, this app enables you to design t-shirts you want easily. First thing we want to do is select our language. And as you can see, you have your choice of many different languages installed. But for demonstration purposes today, we will stick with English. Now, let me show you the first option, Easy Designer. A great option if you're set up at an event with a camera and a backdrop. As you can see, the first step, we select our garment type, whether we're printing to a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, tote bag, or other fabric material. You may notice that when you click on an option, your option to select garment thickness may change. You may have an option to select thin or normal. You may only get one option. But what we do is pick the material we're printing to, and the thickness. Once those are selected, we move on to our next step. Select tray. Here, the Rico RI100 has the option of running an A4 size garment tray or an A5 size garment tray. You also have the option of orientation, selecting either portrait or landscape. Once you have your size and orientation selected, now it's time to prepare the garment. The software gives you a visual reference on how to load your garment either in portrait orientation or landscape orientation. We'll show you the proper loading technique in a future video. Now, let's move to select image. Under the select image option, we have three ways to import a graphic. Take a photo directly from our camera, take a photo from a smart device connected via USB, or take a photo from a smart device connected via network. For demonstration purposes, I'll take a photo using my existing camera. Let me say cheese. Now that we have our photo imported, we can do some slight edits to the photograph. You'll notice here you have the option to auto adjust. If you don't like the auto adjust, you can easily turn it off and control the brightness and contrast yourself. You also have the option to rotate the graphic and an option to trim or crop. So if we want, we can focus in more, crop our photo, and if we're satisfied with the results, bring the photo back in to the Rico Design software. We can use the attached nodes to stretch out our image, use our cursor to center the design, and we do have the option to blur the edges. Once our photo is done, we're ready to print. Simply click on the print button and we're off to the RI100 printer. Now, let's check out the advanced designer option within the Rego Design software. We can select our garment type, and select the garment thickness with an option of thin, normal, or thick. So let's select our garment type, select our thickness, and select the size of our garment tray. Remember, we have the option of an A4 garment tray or an A5 with an orientation of portrait or landscape. Once we have our garment type and size selected, we move on to the editing section. Again, we can take a photo tied directly to a computer camera, or we can import an image. When we select Import Image, we have the option of pulling from the computer, from a smart device connected through USB, or a smart device connected through a network. For demonstration purposes, I'll pull a graphic from my computer. Let's move to Select Image and find the graphic we wish to manipulate. You'll notice here, File Formats accepted, JPEG, and PNG. Let's open this file. So now we have our graphic centered in our working area. I can trim away some of this excess area of the photo. 
by grabbing the nodes, bringing into a line, clicking on the crop button, and if I'm satisfied with the results, click OK. So now I've got more graphic to work with. Now through the advanced option, we can do a few more things with this graphic. We can add an illustration. You'll notice you have your option of many preloaded designs that you can select and apply to your original graphic. I'm gonna go with the train because I think Casey here likes trains. As you can see, we can use the nodes to shrink or expand our illustration. While our illustration is selected, we can adjust the brightness and the contrast of our illustration. Let me size and move, click off of it, and put it right there. We can add additional artwork, which are single color designs. I'll select this frame here, bring it here so I can show you. We can change the color of that frame. We can change the properties by selecting a node and dragging, like so. We can add a frame by selecting the frame option. And the Rico Design software comes with many neat preloaded frames. Some of these frames will have a transparent background. Others may have a white background. And you can turn the frame option off. You have a drawing option where you can select your color, your pen thickness, and your pen transparency so that we can add a personal touch to our design, which can be scaled, like so. We also have a text option where we can work with preloaded fonts within the Rico Design software. To show you the options here. We can select our font color, and we can type. I'll select the text option again. And as you can see, once we've got it highlighted with the nodes, we can change that aspect ratio, as I'm demonstrating here. And now we have a nice, custom-made graphic ready to send to our Rico RI100 printer. We can preview our design to see how it should appear on the garment. And now we can click on Print Save. At this point, we want to make sure that the printer selected is our Rico RI100 printer. And we've got the option of speed, fine, or vivid regarding print quality. If we're not ready to print the design right now, we can save the design in a DAT format. Name our design and save the design. Or if we're ready to print, we simply click the print button and send to our RI100. The last option I'll show you is being able to load save data. The software will find your last saved file location so you can select that file, open it, select your garment type, your garment thickness, your size, your orientation, click OK, and there's our design, which of course we can continue to edit and either save again or reprint. This concludes our quick tutorial on the Rico Design software that comes with your Rico RI100 printer. Should you have any questions, please contact our Condi Systems technical support staff and let us know. But now, I'll see you in our next video, prepping your garment or fabric for printing with the Ricoh RI100.